Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir but before we get into science matters of science for the CBSE class 10 students let me tell you about the history of this place this is a barrack which used to house the british soldiers uh, from 1880 onwards and now this is a chemistry lab at the army public school rk puram in secunderabad the oldest army public school in the southern part of the country and with me are sanjay kumar sharma and sunita rautre to talk specifically about what cbse class 10 students should do ahead of the december term 1 examination so mr sharma you teach all the three science subjects yes, sunita teaches biology so tell me uh, with the help of examples what should be the different approach of the students uh, as far as preparing for this mcq based examinations are concerned does it make it easy or does it make it more tricky yeah definitely the mcq exam is bit little hard because they need to have to have a depth of knowledge whereas in the theory question you can write something relevant to it and you can expect some marks whereas here there is absolutely you have to be on dot to get the correct marks for example if simple question is asked why ionic compounds have high melting point boiling point the student can give three to four options answers they are strong force of attraction the opposite charges are held strongly they can have very option whereas in the multiple choice question which is the right option among the four you have to write on dot sometimes it so happens that the answer will be d1 all the three in student hurry they'll see the first option only and mark it as a later they realize that oh b and c also are correct and i i should have taken the d so they have to be careful so but whenever there is an all of the above that can that they need to pay attention to that and also cbse giving one more option if you go wrong also you can cancel this and the next uh, extra box is given you can go for d so they don't have to panic only thing is that little bit practice is required little bit exposure to that such type of omr is required they need to practice buy some good books are available in the market online there are a lot of worksheets are there so a good exposure to this type of examination certainly is going to help because the future all the exam whether it is iit exams or neat exam all are going to be based on this so i think it is a very good move by the cbsc to change from mc from the theory part to the mcq yes uh, in fact uh, that's right because uh, that's what i was going to ask next next that both je as well as neat are mcq based examinations so sunita tell me about how uh, when they are preparing for biology uh, i wouldn't say it's a rote learning kind of a subjects like the way say something like a history is but bio needs a cut certain kind of specialized kind of uh, learning how different or would it be different now that they are going to do, go in for an mcq based examination so uh, thank you for the question uh, sudhi sir right like in biology it's like you know as uh, sanjay sharma sir already mentioned now the shift in the exam system you know they need a very deeper conceptual knowledge of every part so what we are actually training here the students are giving them a paragraph and from the paragraph they make the questions and they get the answers from that so that way their conceptual clarity will be there and biology is more of the diagrams right more of the diagrams so their observation skill need to be very minute and very good very sharp so that because the mcq may they give four option you know four diagram based question and they just find out which is the correct procedure or arrange them in a procedure manner so for them the conceptual clarity the diagram uh, skills these need to be very clear to attempt these kind of questions so uh, if well planned and uh, good preparation is there so this is definitely going to ha help them a lot now previously like you know traditional way how the question used to come say for example dental caries so what is dental caries you know or draw a human digestive system now there is a little shift competency based learning now what they are actually learning in their day to day life say for example the question comes ki fine lavina you know she is fond of eating sweets a lot and over the years she has seen she found some kind of problems while eating something she finds some pain she visits the doctor and there she finds you know some kind of problems happening some plaque formation happening so these kind of concepts so now children need to connect themselves with the day to day life situation things if something is happening in my body if i see a hibiscus flower near my garden so they should know what's a bisexual flower and what's an unisexual flower so does it fall under monocots or does it follow under dicots so now i think what we say our grandmas and grandpas time what they are doing in the live situation they need to implement it 
I mean, that is coming in their uh, examination system. So they need to be very observant because in our times also our teacher taught us in this way. Till now also I don't have a habit of growing nails and all that. They know, you know, things get stuff, um, you know, go into and while eating food, by, you know, a chance they go enter into our body. So now they need to be very much observant and more of awareness need to be there whatever they are doing it. So learning by doing. So this is what is the main very, focus. Uh, very interesting, very yeah. well put. Uh, Mr. Sharma, uh, the fact that during the COVID years, uh, all these labs were completely vacant, you know, isolated, nobody was coming here. How much of a difference did that make? And with this academic year batch, have you managed to get the students into the labs? Yeah. The biggest challenge during the COVID time is that teachers were on this side, students were on the other side to carry on the hands and experiments. The students were not exposed to the practicals. So it was a very tough time. But teachers have smartly transformed themselves and have changed and accepted the challenge. What they have done is that they have used the OLAPs and virtual videos were sent. And in fact, in army school, we were coming to the lab. First, we got our lab sanitized to be safe. Then we were coming to the lab and we were arranging practicals. Those students were not invited there, but they could see the labs, how the experiment is conducted, how the readings will be taken, what observation they have to make. So entire description in the form of demonstration, practical demonstration. And sometimes we were calling two to three students to the lab to carry on. They were doing the experiment and their friends were able to see and realize how this experiment is carried. Of course, it's quite difficult, but some alternative they found and students were quite happy with that system right uh, ma'am the last question uh, say to, uh, if tomorrow is a science examination what would you suggest should be the right approach on part of the student in order to revise understood uh, they have gone through the NCRT books they have looked at some other sample papers all that is fine but the day before the examination what should be the approach General tips you're yes. asking thank you sir uh, like you know like suppose tomorrow they have an exam science paper what they have to do is quickly quickly recap the gist, the key points of all the chapters. Always like we make the children make a note of it, every chapter ka, there is a key point. You know, you need not have to go through the whole sample papers now, you know, that may create a kind of a panicky situation. So what they have to do is just go through the key points of all the chapters and the important question from past five to 10 years sample paper if they can just note, make a note of all that so that they can revise because repeated questions they do come some important questions we do also give them those important questions chapter wise so as a note they can just open up their notes and they can just quickly revise brush up their uh, important terminologies science terminologies are very very important diagrams for uh, biology chemistry ke liye there are reactions because chemistry is very scoring physics mein there are some rules that they can go through so all these points they need to go through it well before their science examination so in that sense the approach is pretty much similar to how students prepare for the neat or the je wherein you keep your handbook yes mm, time management is very very important mm. but now what's happening now that just one point i want to mention over here is a bright student i have seen this thing in the bright student or let it be an average or a below average student also one mark question also they just write a paragraph if they know the answer well but now that part is completely now out so now they have to be very focused now this is something like you know uh, hitting the target so for that a lot of practice ncrt should be treated like a bible right and um, quick revision and uh, sharp mindedness you know what option can be what Sanjay Sharma sir mentioned already right that sharp mindedness need to be there so it's basically uh, you know for a quick response they have to uh, understand all I guess this. the focus and the concentration has to be even more sharp now because they don't yes, have a, a, a minute to spare at all they should, uh, should be that. very deep. There are some choice given to them. So make use of the choice because they got some questions, they can leave it. Some questions are there, they are very tricky and takes time. So they can leave it in the last and can go in the last if required. Otherwise, they can be left out. So CBS has given them choice, make use of them. So the easy one to be attempted first and the difficult one, which need formula, which need calculations can be sent to the last minute so that they can leave it in the choice if required. 10, right. So planning, not rushing with the questions, easy ones can be done pr uh, firstly, prior they can attempt all those easy ones and for the difficult ones, they can just keep 15-20 minutes just to think on what could be the probable answer for it and they'll definitely rock. Right. Thank you very much ma'am, thank you very much sir for these very useful tips which I'm sure the students would find very very useful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And so one point
point I want to give to end it. This is this shift in the current system is basically want to expose our Indian students to that international forum, because uh, uh, all these competitive examinations, what they have found is children were not that up to the mark in you know getting the scores what they can. So the shift in this right from a school age, they are preparing these kids. You know, at least they can be to some standards, you know, and to crack some uh, important examinations. Thank you, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.